Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you how to flash a custom ROM to your Android phone. Uh, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S3. First thing you want to do is you want to download your uh, you want to download the file. I have mine in a neat little folder, uh, S3 ROMs. So I have uh, a few Galaxy S3 ROMs right here. Um, so um, all you want to do is your uh, USB cable. You just want to hook it up. Okay. So once that's connected, it'll bring up a folder, or you can just find the. Uh, it should be under uh, right here under your computer. So. Uh, just double click on internal storage and then it'll bring up your SD card so all you want to do is just uh, drag this one of your ROMs over into the root storage and let it copy alright so once that's copied uh, just make sure it's on there and you can see it right here um, so then just go to your phone, you can unplug it, and then uh, go ahead and power it off. So power off. You do have to have uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed on this on your phone. So um, with the Galaxy S3 you can install it through uh, ROM Manager, but make sure you unlock the bootloader. I made that mistake once. so. Um, all you want to do is you're going to want to hold in the uh, volume up button, the power button, and the home button all at the same time. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand. And then once it vibrates, you can let off. And here we go. It's Samsung Galaxy S3. Okay, now it's in Clockwork Mod Recovery. So all you want to do is um, go to, uh, you can make a backup, I already have enough backups, I'm not going to worry about it. Go to uh, delete, uh, wipe all user data, so uh, you just want to let that wipe, and then go to uh, wipe cache partition, so yes wipe cache, and then just for safe measure we're going to go to advanced and go to wipe Dalvik cache so yes wipe Dalvik cache and that does it pretty quick um, then we're gonna go and then we're gonna click install from SD card uh, choose zip from SD card and then we're gonna click uh, mines in a set in a different folder so right here it's on right there the pack uh, T2 VZW so we're going to go ahead and click on that, and then we're going to click all the way down, click yes, install. Alright, so whenever that's done, you'll see it'll say install from SD card complete. Um, if you have to flash uh, G apps, which I believe I do on this, um, I'm going to flash the uh, Jelly Bean G apps 4.2.2 G apps. Okay, so once that's done, uh, just go to go back. Um, and reboot system now. And then once it goes um, kind of darker colored, that's when you know it's going to. It it will take a few minutes um, whenever you're just starting it up because it's a brand new ROM and everything. So don't worry if you think it's in a boot loop. Just wait it out. Wait. The longest I'd wait is 10 minutes because if it's over 10 minutes, uh, I'd probably go back, wipe it, and then retry it. So, thanks everyone for watching, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will do a review on this ROM within a few days, so thanks a lot everybody, peace.